Hi everyone, my name is Gan Wei Ho, ID Matrix MA22073. Today I want to share with you all about my group project title, which is Formula One Vehicle. At first, we prepare five proposals for this group project, which is number one, Formula One, number two, truck, number three, tractor, number four, aeroplane, and the last one, which is the motorcycles. Maybe some of you would ask why we want to choose the Formula One Vehicle as our group project title. As I can share with you all, the point one is, as a fan of Formula 1, there's one driver in the F1 world, his name is Sebastian Wetter and he's a German. He represented the Ferrari team to take part in the F1 championship. This is the point 1. The point 2 is the main reason of it is F1 contains a lot of components like about 20,000 components compared to other average vehicles or other sport cars. Then we feel it's more challenging and fun to make a complete Formula 1 vehicle, then after I discussed with my group members, then we decided to choose Formula 1 vehicle as our group project title. Now let me show you the final product of the F1 vehicle. As you can see in the slide here, in this project, we need to prepare at least 15 components as my, in my group. We prepare about like 17 components to assembly to become a completed version of Formula 1 vehicle. As you can see in the slide here, we have the front wheel, rear wheel, seat, black caliber, battery ELS, then we have the oil spring, piston, coolant heat pipe, oil tank, water pump, then we have the bore, F1 body, engine block, engine, turbo, and we have the exhaust valve. Then after that, we assemble all the components to become a final version or the completed version of Formula 1 vehicle. Now let me show you the exploded wheel of it. Now from this slide, you can see the exploded wheel like from the top, from the right and the side or isometric view. Now let me show you the final and completed version of Formula 1 vehicle. Now in this slide, you can see this is the final product of this project. We can see it from the top view, we can see it from the side view, we can see it from the right view and the most important we can see it from the isometric view. Now that's all for me, I will pass the next part to my group members. Thank you.